Alright, what's up, y'all? It's your girl, Nina Simone. And I'm here with my first video. I'm kind of out of breath, I don't know why. But I'm here with my first video. My first YouTube video. And it's not really much that I need to say right now. Except for this video is long overdue. I should have been did this video a long time ago. But I don't know. It's just like I be procrastinating. I need to stop procrastinating and get to it. But other than that, we're going to get right into the video. Because I know y'all been waiting on me to do this video. I didn't even introduce the video. This is a Q&A. This is my first Q&A, my first YouTube video. Well, Q&A slash get to know me. I didn't even introduce the video. But, you know, it's a Q&A, get to know me. And I'm going to answer, I'm going to try to answer all the questions that y'all asked me because it's a lot of questions. Like, y'all asked me a lot of questions. So, I'm going to try to get to all the questions y'all asked because I know y'all been wanting to know the answer to these questions so I'm gonna get y'all the answer to these questions and we might as well get into it because there's nothing else to talk about but I need to let me stop saying it because actually it's a lot to talk about but this video is based on the Q&A get to know me so we gonna do that we ain't gonna we ain't gonna jump to other stuff before we start here we're gonna start here first then we can get into the rest of that later on throughout this youtube journey but it's a whole bunch of questions i'm looking for them right now okay here they go it's a lot like That's wrong. I'm supposed to swipe the other way. It's a why the fuck do I keep doing that? Sorry. It's a lot of questions. So we're gonna get straight into them. All right. So I think I'ma just just pick. I'm probably just gonna go in order. I ain't gonna really like shuffle them or nothing like that. I'm just gonna go in order because it's too many to shuffle. So, my first question is, what's your favorite color? My favorite color is pink. I like pink. I like any kind of pink. I like light pink. I like hot pink. Well, no, I don't, like, I don't really like hot pink. I ain't even going to hold you. But I like light pink. I like nudes. Like pink nudes. I like, like bubblegum pink. I like all kinds of pinks. Some hot pinks be cute, like fuchsia and stuff like that, but... Some of them be ugly to me. So, especially on nails. I hate pink nails, but I got pink nails right now. Well, I hate hot pink nails. And I got hot pink nails right now. It's not even focusing. There you go. But, okay. My sec the second question is three fave zodiacs and three least fave zodiacs. Hmm. Okay, my, well, it, I really don't even need to think about it. My favorite Zodiacs is Scorpios. I love Scorpios. Capricorns. I love Capricorns. My best friend Capricorn. My mama Capricorn. And then come third place, I think. I don't know, maybe Sags. I like Sags. Third question is age. I'm 19. I'm 19 years old. Birthday, June 24, 2003. I'm 19. But I'll be 20 in June. So. But yeah, I'm 19. Um, let's see. My favorite thing to do on my free time... It's probably hard to believe, but I really like being alone. So, like, if I got free time, 
and I ain't really doing nothing. I'd rather just be at home in my room on my phone. Even though, I don't know, being on the phone gets so boring so fast. Like, I don't know, I'm tired of being on the phone. I'm tired of Instagram. I'm tired of Twitter. I'm tired of Snapchat. I'm just tired of social media. It's so boring. But anyway, we ain't gonna get into that. Um, are you going to take hair seriously? Probably not. I don't know. Like, it was cool. I don't know. Like, I just don't feel like that's me. I don't, th I don't feel like that's for me. But I like doing hair. Like, I'll do my friend's hair. If my mama asks me to do her hair, I'll do her hair. So, it's like, it's not that I don't like doing it. I just don't think, like, doing hair full time is for me. Favorite tattoo? It's probably this, my chest piece. I think this is my favorite tattoo. Yeah, that's my favorite. Do you like a t do I mean, do you feel like attention can be overwhelming? My bad. Next question. We on the next question. But they said, do you feel like attention can be overwhelming? Um. Yeah. Like, I feel like sometimes I wish. I didn't have any like wait no let me rebirth that sometimes I, I wish like I didn't get as, as much attention like sometimes I wish I could just do whatever and and not get noticed like you know like just be me not really have people worry about me or worry about what I'm doing you know because I just feel like if you less popular or like yeah if you less popular then you get less attention don't nobody bother you don't nobody no, you ain't got nothing to worry about. If you get less attention, you ain't got nothing to worry about. That's my answer. Okay, then the question following after that is, do you consider yourself to be popular? I mean, I would say in my, like, in my city, yeah. But, like, just out of state or, like, like worldwide, no. Like, I feel like I'm popular in my city, but worldwide, I'm not popular, in my opinion. Next question. Next question is, what is something you feel like every girl should know? Life ain't always about a man. Yes, that's how I feel because I feel like females these days, like females in our generation, make life all about a man, a boy, a relationship. Like, that's all people know. Like, and I just feel like life ain't about that. Life ain't, especially since we're young. Like, it's cool to have fun and do what you do, but like, I just feel like you don't really got to commit this early on in age like I feel like you should just have fun get to know people but like dedicating your life to a man you gonna end up down bad that's all I gotta say okay next question how'd you gain weight a lot of people be asking me this like I get this question all the time and I be telling y'all like I be telling y'all like all you gotta do is eat be consistent with their eating like I feel like people normally don't eat how much they supposed to eat today like you supp like I, okay so you supposed to eat three times a day I feel like people probably eat once or twice a day like that's the average for eating per day but you're supposed to eat three times per day you're supposed to eat full meals three times per day breakfast lunch and dinner and then not only do i be eating three times a day like i eat i ain't gonna say i eat a lot of junk food but i be snacking like especially when it's late at night i be snacking i'll be hungry starving so i be snacking 
in between the day. Like, even if I eat three three meals a day, I still be eating snacks. I be eating chips. I be eating all type of crap. Cookies, cupcakes, smoothies, milkshakes. Whatever I'm hungry. Whatever I'm craving. I'm going to eat. But anyways. Not even anyways. Because that's... that's that's a, a big question. I ain't even gonna lie. Like, lately, ever since I started gaining weight, that's been a big question. Like, everybody wants to know, how you gain weight, how you gain weight, how you gain weight? I ate too much, actually. I was... And then I used to eat out a lot, because a lot of people may ask, like, home-cooked meals, or, like, do you eat out? But I used to eat out a lot. So, like, a lot of just fast food, not even fast food, but just, like, eating at restaurants grubbing, going to the same restaurant two, three times a week, like, doing too much. But let's get on to the next question. Somebody asked, am I, am I in school? No, I'm not in school. I, um, I was in dental assistant school. I went to dental assistant school, and I grad I've already finished dental, assist dental assisting school. So... Ever since I graduated from there, I've been like, this is a, I'm pretty sure I'm going to answer another question that y'all been asking. I've been working at um, this dentist office, a general dentistry office. So I've been doing that and it's cool. Like, I don't know. It's just something to do. Like this, I don't see myself taking this serious for real. Like, like I just feel like it's not going to last long. I don't I don't see myself doing this in a few more years or like being grown and still being a dental assistant. Nothing against grown dental assistants assistants, but I'm not doing it. So yeah. Next question. Okay, so here this question says, How is it like being a dental assistant? Do you like it and what made you pursue this career? Okay, so Really, I, I really wanted to go to school to be an ortho assistant, but the school that I went to don't teach you about, didn't teach you about like braces for referral. So, like the most, like what I learned was basically general dentistry. So, yeah, the plan was to actually be an ortho assistant. But general dentistry is cool. Like that's when you do like fillings. Like when you go to the dentist and you get fillings. Or you get like crowns, um, cleanings. They do like um, implants and stuff like that. So it's cool, but it's not really what I wanted to do. Like I wanted to do ortho. So if I was to get in, like if I was to get in ortho, I would probably last longer in that and probably like stick with that longer than regular general dentistry so the next question is my favorite fast food restaurant my favorite fast food restaurant is chick-fil-a and i just had it today i literally just had chick-fil-a like i'm a, i thought it was nine o'clock it's ain't nine o'clock at the top of the screenshot i was gonna say ain't no way it's nine o'clock it's six o'clock but anywho, I had it earlier. I had it like two hours ago. That's my favorite. I love Chick-fil-A so bad, bro. Like the Chick-fil-A I had, I just had was so good. That was the best Chick-fil-A I ever had. Like, them fries were so fresh. I would eat that every day. A number one, no pickle at bacon and American cheese. With a lemonade, Chick-fil-A sauce, and Polynesian sauce. That's the best. That's so good. If you tried it, go try it. And then tell me what you think. Okay, next question. Do you want kids? Y'all, to be honest, I don't. Like, I don't know. I just really never cared to be like a mom that sound bad like I never I don't know maybe because I'm still young and I really haven't like grew to want to be there yet 
But like I don't want to I don't care for kids right now. It's a it's a no for me. I'm sorry. I don't have no patience. So I mean like what am I gonna do with a kid? Yeah, it's not gonna work out. Next question. Do you believe in marriage? Yeah. But I don't I don't believe I don't feel like it's something everybody has to do. Like everybody don't gotta get married. I really don't think it's that deep. Like if you wanna be married and you wanna get married and a goal of yours is to get married, do so. Be my guest. But I don't feel like it's a requirement to be successful in life. Pretty sure it's not. Next question. Where do I see myself in five years? Yeah, in five years, I want to be rich. Like, I want to be... Five years from now, I'll be, what, 25? 24, 25. I want to be rich. Big crib. Two, three cars. I can't even. It's just. It's a lot. I don't know. I just. I ain't gonna say I don't know because I do know. But I know where I want to be. I want to be on top of the top. I want to be on the top. The top. Just rich, get money, pretty, fly, you know. So, y'all ask me this a lot. Well, y'all, it's, it's, it really don't be a lot. It be a few of y'all. And I don't be feeling like y'all be trying to be funny, but like y'all be asking to see my natural hair, and I'm not bald head. Like, I don't know if that's what y'all expect. Y'all expect me to be bald head, but I'm not bald head. But I just don't wear my hair out because, I mean, I don't want to burn it. And I'm not the type that's going to wear no natural curly puff bond, no ponytail, or nothing like that. Like, I'm not going to wear my hair out natural, naturally curly. And I don't want to get it silk pressed. But I'm not bald head. I don't know if that's what y'all wanted me to say, but I ain't bald head. When I take this quick read out, I'll show y'all. Cause I don't want y'all to think I'm bald here. Um, okay. What's your favorite song at the moment? Y'all yeah, already know what my Hold on, I'm sorry. I'm looking at my text messages. I'm getting carried away. My favorite song right now. Gotta be this song. It's not supposed to say. Oh well. My favorite my favorite song right now is definitely Pound Town. By Sexy Red. That's one of my favorites. And then another one of my favorites is Thug Baby by Huncho. Who is calling? Hello? Hello? I did, yeah. No, it should be mine. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, back to what I was talking about. Before I was rudely interrupted. Next question. Do you feel like you're a genuine sweetheart? Um, sometimes. Not all the time, though. But when I'm trying to be genuine, then yeah, I feel like I'm real. I, I feel like I'm real genuine. If you think about it, I am genuine. I don't know. To be honest, my lashes is crunchy. Okay. 
What is something that your followers may not know about you? Um, I don't know. I don't know. What y'all don't know about me? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. What made you want to start a YouTube channel? To be honest, it's, it was y'all. It was really y'all. I don't really even stun YouTube like that. But what's so crazy is I tried to start a YouTube channel. Like when I was in high school. Like when I was in like the 10th or the 9th grade. I was going to start a YouTube channel. But I posted like one video and never posted again. I'm dead because that video still up. And it wasn't even a real video for it. I looked a mess. I was just, I was doing, I was trying to do a mukbang. But it wasn't a real video. What are your favorite songs to listen to while alone? I'm sorry, I keep getting distracted. But I got my favorite song. I'm going to do the ones in my recently added because I feel like that's easier. So we got right now, it's probably this song. I think I've had enough. I might get a little drunk. And then. This song, I got this song from TikTok. I love this song. I'm doing just fine now. It's over. Pulling on a lip in my bleed. And I can get you out of my mind. If things differently, I think Okay. Um that's my song. <laughs> my song what else oh this is my song too I've seen oh, I've seen I've seen I've seen I've Let me stop because I will listen to the whole song. I will listen to the whole song. Oh, I like this song too. Ooh. Okay, because I obviously don't know the words. But let's get back to the questions before I be here playing y'all my whole playlist. Insomnia or crumble cookies? I'm going with insomnia. Crumble cookies is disgusting. I'm not a real like soft cookie fan. Even though insomnia cookies be soft, but they be crisp around the edges. That's how I like my cookies. Or like if you let them sit after they really like hot and they not hot no more they be crunchy crispy that's how i like my cookies i don't like that gooey dewy goat gooey chewy crap i don't like that that's disgusting and if you eat that you're disgusting the flavors be having potential though that's the thing like I, I more so like the, the flavor idea than the cookie. Like, I like the flavor in my head, but then I get the cookie, and it's like, ugh, like, you just ruined it because it's doughy. So, yeah, that's how I feel. Next question. This, this is a question that I've been getting that really I just started getting, like, a few years ago. 
What is your real name? I don't know if y'all be for real or if y'all be joking, but my real name is Nina. Like, N-I-N-A, Nina. Like, Nina Simone, the singer Nina Simone. My name is really Nina Simone. Like, if my name wasn't really Nina Simone, then what would my name be? you and Sanaya me I already told this story on TikTok so if you follow my TikTok you know how we met we met in middle school in math class sixth grade that's how we met and then we became best friends ever since like literally we've been friends since what 2014 I think yeah next question how old do you want to be when you own your first home? <sighs> to be honest, y'all, I don't like houses. Like, I I hate houses. I don't know. It's just not... It's just not something I prefer. I don't really care for a house or to live in a house. Like, I just don't care for it. You know, I prefer like an apartment, a condo, a townhouse. I like townhomes though, but I don't just like normal homes. I don't know, it's just not me. I want, I like that, I don't know, I like that high rise vibe. I like parking garage, I like the parking garage. I don't know, I just like that kind of vibe, you know. Living in the city, but I don't know, I'm getting tired of the city. So, I might not move to the city. Uh, next question. Favorite artist to listen to? Lately, I've been... Lately, I'm sorry, my phone is distracting me. This is hard. How do people do Q&As on their phone? Like, what? But, um, lately I've been listening to... Lately, I've been listening to Tink New Album... I probably can't even see it for real. Tink new album. Um, I've been listening to Tyler. That's not what y'all just asked me. Hold up. My favorite artist to listen to. Y'all already know who my favorite artist to listen to is. Rod right Wade. Nine times out of ten. Nine times out of ten. I'm listening to him. Duh. Um, favorite thing about being a cancer. Nothing really. I don't know. Because I feel like y'all be trying to play us. Like we just so sensitive. All we do is cry. We cry all day. We so emotional. Like be for real. B-F-F-R. What does that spell? B. Me personally, I don't feel like I'm that type of cancer. You may be that type of cancer, but me, I don't feel like I'm that type of cancer. It depends. It, it depends. But, like, I'm not just that type of person that's just going to cry every day. You know? Or just, like, be in their feelings every day. That's a reach. Next question. What was your dream career as a child? Y'all, no lie, I used to want to be a a teacher I think like a long time ago when I was probably like in elementary and middle school I think I used to want to be a teacher I really don't remember nothing else after I used to wanting to be a teacher oh I used to want to be a fashion designer or like a personal stylist that too but that was like I don't know middle school beginning of high school type if you could move to any state, which state would it be? Texas. Texas. I just love Texas, y'all. And I've only been to Texas once. But I would live there. I love Texas. Especially when I love the houses in Texas. Like, the living in Texas is so nice. I follow that Ben, that Ben Wagman, I think his name is. That Texas realtor, I follow him. The houses he posts. 
chef's kiss. I love that. Looking at or posting. They real nice. Do you miss working at Foot Locker? I ain't gonna lie, sometimes. I miss just like that time period. When I was working at Foot Locker, I was still in high school. The pandemic. I ain't gonna lie, the pandemic was fun. It was fun, like I don't know, just being at home, not having to go to school, everybody at home on lockdown, can't do nothing. Everybody that's back when TikTok was popping, everybody at home going crazy. Life was good. I ain't gonna lie. It was actually good. Is Loyal your brother? Yes. Yes, it's my blood brother. Same mom, same dad. I wish I had a an old picture I could show y'all. But yes, that's my blood brother. We grew up together. Dream job, dream car, and how old are you? I already answered how old I was. I told y'all I'm 19, but dream job. I don't dream to work for nobody. I don't dream to want a job. If I had to work, then my dream job would probably, I don't know. I just don't, I don't think about stuff like that. Dream car. My dream car, y'all, is a Rolls Royce. Hold up. I'm tripping. That's not my dream car. A Range Rover. Let me show y'all. Them 2023s. I can't whistle. Them 2023s. I don't think my camera is focusing. But this my dream car. This I love this car so bad. It's so nice. I've always wanted a Range Rover. I want a white one with black rims. And I want red brake pads. I want my junk clean. With red guts on the inside. Two. Two. Crazy. What's a non-materialistic goal you have for yourself? Really just to be successful. Like, that's really all I want. That's all I think about. I just think about being successful. Like, I know if I don't be anything in this life, if I don't do anything, I want to at least be successful. But how am I going to be successful if I don't do anything? So... I don't know. My eyebrow, my my eyelash is so crunchy because my eyes keep watering, and then my eyelashes keep getting stuck together. But anywho, the my, the non-materialistic goal is to be successful. I don't think that's materialistic because that's just without money. Like I really wanna not only be successful, but I wanna be happy where I am in life. Like, like if I was to. Like, if the world was to end, I want to at least know that I'm happy. I would be okay. Never mind, let me shut up. I don't know what I'm talking about. What made you get a sleeve? To be honest, I always... I don't know. I think what made me get a sleeve was because my dad got a sleeve. My dad got two sleeves. My brother got a sleeve. I think he got a sleeve. He might, both his arms might be tatted. Yeah, he do got sleeves. I don't know. I just like tattoos. I really think I wanted tattoos because my dad got tattoos. My dad got a whole bunch of tattoos. So, I think that's why I wanted them. Um, favorite body lotion. Or soap to use. Um, I don't really 
use lotion like that. Like, if I use lotion, then I'll mix it in with gel. But I normally use that baby gel, that Johnson & Johnson's baby gel, the, and the green one. I like that one. That's my favorite thing that I use. And then if I was to want, like, some smell good, I would mix the oil with, like, some lotion I got from Bath & Body Works or something. And put it all on my body. That's the best way to do it. And, you know, if you, like, moisturize your skin with, like, a lotion or, like, a... No, not really a lotion, like a Vaseline or oil or gel. Your perfume gonna last longer. So, that's the tip for y'all. Do that. And your perfume still gonna be on your back. That helps perfume stick to the skin. And soap, the favorite... I mean, my, the the soap that I normally use... I, I go to... I... I I never stuttered this much in my life. Why am I stuttering? I prefer Dove. Anything Dove. I love Dove. The sensitive skin. The antibacteria Dove. The mango one. The pomegranate one. The cocoa butter one. You can't go wrong with Dove. Dove is number one. Top two and it's not two. Favorite food. I don't know. Probably some some honey hot wings. That's probably my favorite. I don't know for real. Probably some wings and some fries. Wings and fries. Oh yeah, I love me a good French fry. Wings and fries. That's my favorite. Mm -hmm. What do I need in a man? I don't need nothing in a man. But, I don't know. Just come already prepared. Like, I really don't know. Because, like, nine times out of ten, you got to teach these niggas how to be a man. And all I'm saying is come already prepared. No, not even come already prepared because I don't want y'all. But... Be already prepared. Make sure these niggas be already prepared. We not teaching these niggas how to be niggas. We not teaching y'all what y'all supposed to be doing. Like, we not asking for what y'all supposed to be doing. We not begging for what y'all supposed to be doing. Like, I don't know. And I feel like y'all really need to stop doing that because it ain't never, that ain't never been the case. Mm-mm. We're not finna tell you, oh, you need to take us on a date. We're not finna tell you, you need to pay for my nails, my hair. I just feel like you should already know to do that. You should already want to do that. Like, that's just not something we should tell you you need to do. That's, that's what I mean when I say come already. Act like you know. Okay? That's all I'm saying. Act like you know. Tell these niggas act like they know. Because I ain't gonna lie, these niggas be clueless. Like, they be... They be, they don't be knowing nothing. They, I don't know. They just like, where you come from? Ugh. I hate a, I hate a dude that don't already know how to be a man. Like, don't already know how to be a boyfriend. I don't like that. I'm sorry, that won't work with me. You got already, you gotta already know to mess with me. That's just how I feel. Because I'm not your mom. I'm not finna teach you none of that. My shoe size. What's my shoe size? My shoe size is a five and a half or 37. But in kids, I wear a five and a half. And in women's, I wear seven. So, yeah. Hello. All right. Alright, I just got interrupted again. It's getting dark outside. So, this is how the light looking right now. It's looking kind of rusty. But it's cool, we're gonna make it do what it do. With the few little minutes we got with the sun. The sun really gone. I don't even see no sun. How many tattoos do you have? I got a tattoo right here. 
And then I got the sleeve, and then the neck tattoo. But I really don't know how to count my tattoos. So I really don't know a number of tattoos. I, unless it go by like sessions, like how many sessions you had. But, cause I had a few, but yeah. When you're having a bad day, what's something you do to feel better? I don't know, probably go eat something. Or talk to somebody that make me feel better. Or just get on TikTok. TikTok is the best of the best. The best of the best. The best of the best. I love me some TikTok. I stay on TikTok. I hope this camera is clear. Well, I hope this lens is clear. We're going to see when we get off here. Are you open to new friends? To be honest, not really. I don't know. Females are weird and can't be trusted. So I'd rather just stick with the ones I already got. Because everybody ain't your friend. How do you feel about friends in general? I feel like everybody needs friends. Everybody needs at least one friend. And if you don't have at least one friend, you're the problem. Sorry. Is it focused? Yeah, if you don't have at least one friend, you're the problem. Sorry. Birthday plans this year? I don't know. I want to go out the country. That's all I do not. I just want to go somewhere. I don't want to be in Atlanta because there's nothing to do here in Atlanta. I want to go out the country. I don't really want to go out of town. I want to go. I want to go to another state, another town. I want to go to another country. I don't want to be in the U.S. I want to be outside of the U.S. You feel me? Which tattoo hurt the most? Probably this one. My neck tattoo. That hurt the most. I don't know if it's zoomed in for y'all or if it's focused. But that tattoo hurt the most. And I really feel like it was because I was ready to go. So, I don't know. I was just, I was in pain. How is my mental? That question was asked twice. Um, I mean, I feel like my mental is straight. Now it is. A few months ago, it wasn't. But, you know, things happen. Life ain't perfect. Y'all probably think people walk around with these perfect lives just because they don't show the downs. People have their downs too. But everything isn't meant to be known. So, you know. But I feel like I'm okay now. I'm good now. Life is getting better. So, in line or on store. Wait, in store or online shopping? If online, how, how often do you shop? I prefer online. I like in store, but I like what they have online better. Because it's just better, like, I, but I like, like, I like in store because I like the fact that I'm finna go home with it and I don't gotta wait days to get it. But I like on store because it's more options and the stuff look better. Not gonna lie, it's getting dark. I hope y'all can still see me clearly because I don't really like this lighting. Might have to get a light. Cause it's looking pretty dark or maybe should I sit up some so we can get this video over with I need to finish answering these questions for y'all were you ever treated differently for being Yadi's sister like publicly or anything um no I never really had no <clears throat> problems with the public 
Not that I think. Because really, like, if you know me, then you know I've been popular before he was even somebody. Like, I've been known before him. Like, it's people who know me and didn't even know he was my brother. So, I've been known. Like, it's, like, it's not 100% because of him. You feel me? And I think a lot of y'all be getting that confused a little bit. How do you feel about braces? Yeah. I'm ready to get mine off. It's no reason I still even have braces. Like, why do I have braces? It's been a year since I got them back on. process is taking forever. I don't know why. I just feel like it's so dark in here. I'm going to have to get a, a light because the sun went down. Or oh, I'm probably going to do like a few more questions and then end it out because the sun is going down. And I don't really want to throw off the lighting. So I'm gonna ask like one, I'm gonna do like one, one or two more questions and then I'm gonna end this video. And maybe I'll do a part two because I don't really feel like I answer enough questions for y'all, you know. Like I feel like y'all probably wanna know more. But a lot of y'all just be answering the same thing. <clears throat> and then a lot of these questions, I really just wanna do a video on. Like I don't really wanna just answer it. So. Um, let's pick two more. Okay, here's a good question. Well, it's not really a good question because I feel like y'all already know because I already answered this question plenty of times. But somebody asked, how tall are you? I'm 5'4". So, I'm not short, but I'm not tall. Like, I'm right in the middle, I feel like. But then again, I get around my friends and I'm like the tallest one, so I don't know. Okay, this is a good question to end the video with. And I'm so mad that my lighting is messed up because it looks so ugly in here without the natural light. But last question, and then we're going to end the video. And it is, why did your parents name you Nina Simone? So, actually, my dad named me. My mom didn't name me. But my dad named me Nina Simone after his favorite jazz artist, Nina Simone. So, that's who I got my name from. If you wonder, where you... How, Nina Simone, where you Nina Simone from? Who named you Nina Simone? Yeah, my dad gave it to me. So, that's that. And we're going to wrap this up. So I can go ahead and get this out to y'all and continue to have more videos dropping and more videos on the way. I'm trying to get suggestions of what y'all want to see on YouTube so I can give it to y'all. Whatever y'all want, y'all can get it. So drop below in the comment section what y'all want to see me do. And I'm going to do it. But first, make sure you subscribe. Click the like button. And I'll see you later.